Hi guys, in a previous video, um, you might have seen me doing a repair on a voice box for a Palatoy Talking K9 and basically said that it's the same mechanism that you found in um, not only these Action Man field radio packs but also the um, Astronaut Life Support Pack. So I had this one that was fairly temperamental so managed to get the motor to spin by putting some contact cleaner on it but was really struggling to um, make it work consistently and well so I kind of like did some exploratory stuff and find out that um, using the old multimeter that we were struggling to get current to the motor so I looked at it in a bit more detail than maybe what I showed you last time and um, what you will see is inside the battery compartment um, the terminal had actually rusted so as usual with these things you get a um, you can see the oxidization on the surface which really weakens it and really fails to make a good electrical contact so I'm not sure if you can see that in there so let me put some light on it that's completely um, completely unable to carry a current or if it does it's significantly weaker than what the thing needs so that battery terminal comes up here through there and is attached to that wire which in turn comes from that motor into the negative terminal of the battery so um, again I'm not sure if you can see it but let's try and put that behind it so you can really get a good you can see a lot of blue tinge corrosion if you can see let me put it up to the light a lot of blue tinge corrosion on that wire that's obviously spread up from the spread up from the um, terminal the wiring on the, these things is incredibly brittle so I suppose I've got a choice do I just take this old piece of wire off and replace it with a nice bit of new wire um, and make the thing a lot more sturdy or can I just use retain this bit of old wire and just somehow retain this terminal now getting battery terminals to fit these things are an absolute pain in the backside so you could look search all over on the internet for these things um, and you'd really struggle to find it so again another issue with this one is around this micro switch here so when this is all working and the thing is in position that motor is constantly whirring so because that contact is in here which is caused by that bit of plastic that pushes up so um, so ordinarily that thing will be spinning that turntable will be spinning and then when it engages when you press the button the needle moves across the surfaces of the record like that and when it finishes it presses that micro switch which breaks the connection between that peg there and this piece of wire so again quite often you see these wretched things that have snapped off which means that doesn't get a good contact with the um, with the record needle arm but as you can see that's how that works so and then obviously sends the now this one's loose so and it also causes some dragging if I put it push it in too much so I probably need to do some exploratory work into that so but the first thing is for this video I'm going to look at this element here disconnect the wire and remove this piece of terminal from in here and then see if I can find something to replace it with so I don't want to do it on camera because I'm not really that good at that so I'll do it and then come back and show you how I've done okay bye okay since the last section of this video i've basically disconnected the two wires from this motor so there's one and there's the other it's got that kind of like springy switchy material on it now maybe you can see if that'll pull into focus just how kind of like beveled that's become or I don't know. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get this to work. I don't really want to be faffing around having to solder something, but 
Um, try and get some contrast against this white. I've probably I've straightened it up a bit, but um, that would just sit in there, which I'll then when it's ready, and I know it's working. I'll glue that back in there and reconnect that on. I've taken out the um, dodgy battery terminal that was sitting in there that you saw before, the remains of which are here. Um, as you can see, the surface of that is absolutely pitted. And again, on that side, sadly, the um, we might have got away with that, but the corrosion on this bit here that was the spring bit of the terminal um, you could probably have sanded that off but there was so much weakness in that bit there you can see where it's really blue it had just corroded through which is why it had snapped so yeah see that so rather than faffing around I've taken an existing battery terminal or a new one rather um, that I found in a spares box so I've taken that and basically soldered on a piece of wire and my aim is to put the let's see if I can do it live on camera probably not because I'm rubbish put that thread that through there and I'll basically fit that somehow in there like that so you can now see the new wire and that contact is slit, slotted into there a slotted in into there really really nicely and I'll probably give you a a cracking a cracking battery contact so which means you'll get a good thing I'll probably plonk some glue on that bit um, and basically the next step now is to attach that piece of wire to that and to do that I'll just twist it and do it with a um, with a blob of solder. Forgive my soldering skills, they're not the best. Um, but that, I think, is going to work quite well. Let me put a test battery in. Yeah, yeah, you can see it's it's got some good some good spring in there. Probably it's a bit too springy, but it's certainly better than the zero contact that we had there we go in she goes and that's a decent decent fitting battery now so there we go perfect so nice solid battery um nice wire coming through now, as you can see, we need to get that connected with that. So I'll just do that join now off video, and then um, and then we should be able to start rebuilding this wretched thing. So I'm going to press pause while I solder these two bits together, and um, after that I'll be bad, bad. I'll be back. So champion, great stuff. Uh, quite pleased with that it's really solid okay I'll be back when that's soldered okay so here we go you've seen before that I've put this new battery terminal in here soldered it onto the existing wire um, that was a quite difficult to do because of the quality of the wire resoldered the wire onto there taken this bit and recreated all that soldered that wire back on that motor point here so I've whittered on endlessly on this video about this metal switch and how it works. So when this starts, imagine it like this, the needle, that's the motor whirring by the way, goes along there, it's out of focus. Um, it goes up there, it goes up there on the record track, moves to the end and it hits that, just like that. So then when the button's pressed to start the speech, the diaphragm lifts up that springs back and it opens that um it closes that circuit so then the record will be spinning if it'll go back into focus uh, that'll then move up and then it breaks that so that's how that works um pretty self-explanatory now all i need to do, not all i need to do but now 
what I'm going to do is reconnect the drive belt onto this thing. Okay, here we go. So I've just reattached the drive belt at the bottom of that. Um, and here you can see the motor unit spinning. I don't know whether you can see it on this video because it's so small. There's this little micro switch thing. If you just tap that, it goes. Tap that, it goes. Tap that, it goes. Yeah. So then this is how it would work in theory, I hope. So you can use this slider So that, that's how that works. So if I open this now, that kills the circuit. Fine. So what I'll do is try and um, put the top shenanigans back on. So if you remember, we have this diaphragm that reminds me of the Starship Enterprise. And that sits over those two lugs there. Just like that. Um, I'll then shut this. You can hear it starting. Now, if I apply, oh, it's difficult. This is awkward, awkward bloody thing. If I put the bit of pressure on those two lugs, So how that's working, if you can see under there, I hope you can on here, that is the top of the stylus, the diaph the, the needle, stylus arm. There's your little micro switch. So then if I put this pressure down, you'll see it'll engage the very top of that stylus arm, watch. Reaches the end and it kills that. Child then presses the button, springs that back, done. Child presses button. Does that make sense? Hope so. Now that's, that appears to be working really well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just put some glue on this bit here to stop it springing up um, and then I'll leave that to harden for a little bit okay I'll be back in a second okay just to finish this off and make it a bit more secure I've um, put some glue in here to stop this thing from moving so that should hold that nice and secure and I've just popped a blob of glue um, on this battery terminal as well just so it stays fairly solid i'm going to leave that to cure for a little bit and then when it's done i shall um come back and screw the whole the whole thing back together so again that contact we've replaced there um is clearly going to be a lot more conducive to carrying current and making a contact than that thing which I think had cracked anyway so that's why or a reason why the thing wasn't working as it probably should have coupled with that that switch needed a good clean reissue and again I think these solder joints might have been a little bit dry too so um don't ever be put off by one of these things they're um they're a doddle but whenever you see them 
on eBay or you might pick one up on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. They'll always be broken or very often be broken. Normally the first port of call is to just blast that motor. Then once you've done that, it could be battery terminals it more likely than anything will be that switch like i said i've had one before where that thing's been missing that's a pain in the backside and always check these wires because they could be corroded and broken other than that there's very little that can go wrong I suppose this wire here could snap or crack and if it does you're knackered and always kind of check it i use a multimeter just to quickly whiz through and check my um, continuity. So, um, yeah, I'm going to... Is that going now? That's almost setting. So I'm just going to leave that for a little bit. There's no great rush with this. It's been waiting for 40 years. So um, it's that's it. I'm going to um, come back when it's done and we'll see where we go. I also, by the way, I don't know whether put some of this stuff into the um motor just to give it a little bit of a a little bit of a help so leave this to do then i'll try and put it back together and put this action man life support pack back together nice toy so um there we go i've got literally got a box full of these things in the garage in various stages of destroyedness so there we go okay i've got this back together um put two screws in there as needed slightly adjusted the tension on this um and just... So that works, that works lovely. So I'm just gonna put it back together, the Action Man uh, thing. I'll take all the frays off that in a bit. Um, that slots in there just like so. Um, this thing, we've got these holes. So that goes through there. So then it sits in like that and then line those two screw holes up put these ones in nice short screws nice and in The other one in so that looks good and sounds good and now the box is stuck in so I'm just gonna put the back on shouldn't be too difficult so and that's a bit cracked. Like that slips on just like that. Got two screws left. Top one. That goes in so. Got another one here. Um, tighten that one up and you can see I think that goes on this way this back panel can't go on that way so it must go on this way how can that be that difficult try there you go I've um, put the back panel on now so there's the toy complete and finished um, 
So there's the one. If I want to change the disc as a child, you would open that, pull that down. That's interesting. How would you change that then? That's interesting. Okay, like an idiot, I'd put the um, outer casing on the wrong way up, so when you tried to open it, you couldn't, so I've just unscrewed it again and reattached it, so we want to change the record, simply lift that, take your record disc off, just like the K9, turn it over, clip it back on, shut that, sounds like a guinea pig. So as you can see that was knackered in the last video and um, now it kind of works perfectly. Let's see if I make an idiot out of myself again and can't put the back on. Um, ridiculous. On that goes. So that goes on like that when it's finished. There's the unit. Um, stands up quite nicely. Nice item. Done. Finished. Have a go at these. Buy one off eBay. The cheap. Fix them up. The great. Brilliant fun.